What's going on guys, it's Gimtick here, back with a brand new video, and in this video, I am going to be teaching you guys how can you guys title your YouTube videos. Now in this video, we're also going to be talking about how to get more views and subscribers. Guys, if you guys actually title your videos the right way, you will get more views and subscribers. So that is what I'm going to try to teach you in this video. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about SEO. And pretty much what SEO is, is pretty much getting more views and subscribers and how to title your videos, how to tag your videos, how to write video descriptions. That is all SEO for those that you didn't know. So I'm going to be demonstrating it like if I was going to upload a YouTube video. I have a little sample video right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom in there for you guys. And for example, this is just for example purposes only. Let's say I'm going to make a video on how to use the MacBook Pro. So I'm going to start off by how and notice what I did there. The first letter of my word is capitalized because if you pay attention in English class, every first letter of a sentence should be capitalized. So how and now the second word, I'm also going to use a T capitalized because I just think that that stands out the most and it just looks better like that so how to book and then use the Mac Pro and then I'm gonna just capitalize every single word that looks pretty good and I'm going to put an exclamation mark so there's some type of excitement now I'm just going to hit my space bar and I'm going to put a parentheses so how to use the MacBook Pro beginners that seems like a, a good title we can use 100 characters and we have only used 46 so we want to try to fill this up as much as possible that way our videos can rank even more now when titling your videos you guys need to make sure there are no type of spelling grammars what i do when i'm about to submit a video and upload it i just copy and paste the title on google like that and google will tell me if there's any type of for example spelling mistakes and as you guys can see beginner's guy does not have an apostrophe so now that i fixed it i can just go back into my youtube videos and now I have a properly written title with no spelling grammars according to Google. What I'm gonna do is, I don't know what else to write on my video. So I'm gonna just go on YouTube, all right? And this is what I do every time I'm gonna title my video. So I come up with the sentence and then I look for other creators that have made the same video as me and I pretty much take it and edit it and put it on my video. So I'm gonna search on Google how to use the MacBook Pro. And let's see what we get. Learn the Mac under an hour. Beginner's guide, we already have that. Learning how to use your MacBook Pro. So for example, we can put learn how to use the MacBook, MacBook Pro under, for example, 10 minutes, exclamation mark, 2017. So I'm gonna just take out this exclamation mark so it has space for 2017. And now I'm gonna just copy and paste this title into Google to make sure there are no spelling mistakes and there are no spelling mistakes so this is a pretty good title it says how to use the macbook pro which is exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video and then i included here beginner's guide so people know that if you're a beginner you can still follow this and then i continue to put learn how to use the macbook pro learn how to use the macbook in under 10 minutes because Let's say my video was under 10 minutes and we included some numbers. The YouTube search love numbers. So we include some numbers to so learn how to use the MacBook Pro under 10 minutes. And we here, as you guys can see, we included the year. If you guys have some extra space on your title, just include the year. You might be asking, why should I include the years? Because if you guys include the years, when people search how to um, use the MacBook Pro 2017, People want to get the most up-to-date information and let's say your video says 2017 and another guy's video says 2016 which one do you think that person is going to go to the 2017 one why because it has the most up-to-date information so include that in there now when writing your titles make sure you put on some parentheses something important make sure you use exclamation marks to show some excitement and make sure you capitalize the right thing i personally like to put every single word capitalized so it looks better because no one wants to see a, a video that's like this how to use um for example the would you click on a video that says that i would not like 
nothing's capitalized there are no type of exclamation marks tell me anything is this video up to date it just pretty much doesn't teach you anything so why would you guys go in this video that is why titles are super important if you guys want to watch a video on how to tag your youtube videos just make sure to go down there and drop a like thank you guys for all the support recently we're almost at 1200 subscribers thank you guys so much for watching make sure to drop a like have a great rest of your day and peace